Oh, I didn't realize I was being recorded already. Good morning, Kilmer community. Today is Thursday, October 29th, 2020. You actually caught me doing a little bit of calm breathing. That's a strategy that I use just to, when I get a little bit nervous, it just kind of centers me and allows me to be able to deliver message. Doing these messages sometimes makes me nervous. I'm sure some of you can relate. Well, today, our core values, as you know, each and every day are responsibility, respect, and empathy. Mr. Foley gave a couple examples yesterday from students about how they've showed respect and responsibility. And I want to share an example that came to us via one of our middle school teachers, Mr. Mook. He explained that on Tuesday, um, one of our class, one of his classes, 6V, was struggling with technology. I mean, technology was just a challenge. And as you know, um, Zoom can sometimes be challenging. Mr. Mook wasn't able to communicate with them verbally, nor was he able to share his screen. So what did 6V do? They didn't give up. They didn't, they, they didn't leave the Zoom. They persevered and they helped each other in finding the work and then where the problems were that they needed to do. And they did this without, without Mr. Mook's help. They were able to help each other. Now, they, during this time, they persevered through the challenging tasks. They also kept their videos on the whole time. And if they needed to communicate, it was via chat. And that way, Mr. Mook was able to respond if, if they needed clarification on anything. So I have to give 6V huge props because you actually demonstrated all three core values of respect, responsibility, and empathy. So thank you so much for doing that and for being a, a great example to our Kilma community. Students, teachers, if you see other examples in your classroom, please share them my way. I would love to give more props and shout outs to um, whole classes um, or even grades, grade levels. So send them my way. I have a word that I want to share with you. It's not a joke. It's not a riddle. I know. I know. I know. I'm getting to that. But look at this word here. Q-U. Q-U. They're always together, so they make that, that sound qu. How would you say this word? How would you say it? What do you think? I'll tell you. Quizatum. Say that. Quizatum. This is a, a good word. It comes from um, Latin, and it means that which is sought or the answer to the problem. So this is a really good, I would say, anyone can use this word, but I particularly challenge our middle school students to use it. Here's an example of using quizatum in a sentence. The quizatum to your problem might come to you after some quiet reflection. The quizatum to your problem might come to you after some quiet reflection. I challenge you to use this today in your vocabulary. Use it during math, use it during science, use it during other uh, subjects where there might be a problem. And Tell me how you're using that sentence. Send them my way. All right. And then finally, I want to end on a little riddle. It's the first one I saw. I thought it was funny. I hope you do too. And if not, or maybe you did, but you still want to add, you're welcome to share with me some of your riddles and some of your jokes, and I would be happy to feature them. So here's the riddle. How many legs does a horse have? If you call its tail a leg. How many legs does a horse have if you call its tail a leg? Are you ready? Four. Calling a tail a leg doesn't make it so. <laughs> Was that a trick one or what? Ah, oh, goodness. I love this. It just kind of makes, I love hearing jokes. It just makes me, it makes me laugh if they're really funny. Um, and I'm hoping that I give, bring humor to your day as well. On that, just want to share that we love you and we care about you. And I can't wait to see all of you again. Hopefully soon we miss your presence in the building. And on that, I just want you to remember just to persevere through those challenging tasks. Keep an Keep a growth mindset uh, because sometimes we do have these challenges and we need to get through them and push through them and everything's going to be okay. And I want you to be your best you and make today and every day a great day. See you next time.